trying to find a place to pull over here because as I'm going up the road, ah, maybe I'll right here, maybe? No. Ah, I, it's hard to, for this camera to see up here, guys, but we've got just, just this gorgeous scene up here. Just mist and I, I, I'm absolutely certain there might be a cloud inversion down. Or that or I'm just so high above, above the clouds that they're just hanging really low over the uh, over the northern section near Boulder. I just really need to find a place to pull over so I can get a shot of this. Okay, so I've managed to find a place to pull over really quickly because I've just found, driving up the mountain, I've just found another scene. We've got just the way these, the cliff edges is kind of running off that way. And then we've just got mist and clouds. I know it's hard to tell. I'm going to see if I can darken down this exposure anymore here. I don't think I can. We've got some mi more mist and clouds just hanging over this way. I'm, I'm really curious if this is a cloud inversion or if it's just low hanging clouds, but either way, ah, such good photography going on today. I am so happy to be up here today. Oh my gosh. Got my camera set up here, got it on a vertical orientation. I am in at just, uh, just before 70 millimeters. I think I might be at 63 or 65 millimeters. Um, and at ISO 11, uh, no, not ISO 11, geez. I'm just really excited, guys. I'm just spewing out stuff. Um, I'm at ISO 100 and I'm at F11. And I'm at 1 250th of a second exposure time. I'm just gonna get focused in an infinity here because my real interest is the, just these clouds and the mist just hanging over this whole scene right here. And I got a really dynamic scene, a very, very dynamic scene right now because of where the sun's at. I'm basically shorting, shooting towards the sun. Don't have it in my frame. Um, but I've also just, it's hard to capture all just the highlights and the shadows. So I'm bracketing my exposure, a stop either way. I might shoot it with another uh, bracketing, uh, maybe a stop in two thirds either way. Um, but just, oh, could not be happier guys. This is just, this is just going so great today. I'm having such a good time and having so much fun being out here. Oh. got a little herd of mountain goats just enjoying some breakfast 
and they've got some babies with them and I'm just so excited to see these little guys. Uh, they're too far away for me to be able to get a really good picture. Uh, unfortunately, the longest lens I've got is this 70 to 200. So, uh, but just, I've got a little bit of video. The kits, are they called kits or are they called lambs if they're mountain goats? It doesn't matter. Um, they're out, they're romping around, they're having a good time. And uh, just really cool to see these guys up here. See if I can get a little bit more video. Maybe they'll make their way a little closer to me so I can get some good, some good footage. Um, and some good pictures, but just fingers crossed. So while I've been watching these mountain goats, I just quickly snagged just on the other side of this uh, kind of ridge right there, another shot of just uh, more kind of misty covered mountains. Um, just snagged a quick shot with the 70 to 200 at uh, 200 mil, ISO 200 to increase my shutter speed uh, at a shutter speed of 400 and at uh, aperture of f11, Hey, a little chipmunk running back there. Um, and just really quickly, a quick handheld shot. Ah, just a really calm and peaceful feeling being out here today in nature. And it is at its best today. I could not ask for more. And this is one of those days where it makes all the other, like, kind of mediocre days that I've had out in the field really just kind of worth it, you know? Um, had a lot of days where I... And that you guys have seen where I haven't gotten great sunrises and really been kind of struggling to find images. So it always just makes you really thankful for the days where uh, everything just lines up for you. Um, I don't know if these mountain goats are going to get closer or not. I kind of hope they are. I'm going to sit here for a little while longer and see if I can snag an image. But if not, I'm going to drive up to the top of Mount Evans here, uh, see what I can see, and then we might call this a day. Persistence is going to pay off here because this mountain goat herd is moving closer. And we've got a little baby, little baby goats with them. guys if you can't already tell I have had a fantastic day out here and I can't think of a better way to end today than with this gorgeous gorgeous view we're at the top of Mount Evans and I just don't think it can get much better I really really don't so I think we're gonna end today's video here I hope you've enjoyed it I know I've enjoyed making this video today this has definitely been one of the funner ones uh, so far and I hope the fun just keeps on coming. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed and that notification bell is set to let you know when I post my next video. Uh, and make sure you're following me on social media, my website, all the all the stuff I'm always pitching here at the end of the video. Um, and I really hope you guys just have a great day. I hope you get out and have a great adventure like the one I've had today. And coming to you from the Mount Evans area, I hope you all have a great great rest of your day and I will see you next time out on the trail.